right, today we're going to continue with our capacity lesson. Today we're going to demonstrate an understanding of measuring and recording capacity using milliliters and liters, sorry. And we're also going to use water displacement to um, determine the volume of an object. So, the volume of an object is usually measured in cubic centimeters but can also be measured in milliliters because one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter and this is why water displacement works. So remember that little centimeter cube we've talked about, the place value cubes? If you were to empty one of those and fill it with water, it would be worth one milliliter. So that's why this works really well. Here's the way to find the volume of an object, especially if it's an object that we can't measure very well. We can use the displacement or the movement of water to find the volume of the triangular prism. Um, basically what's happening is the water is being pushed out of the way by the volume of that object. So as much water as is moved is the volume of that object. All right, we're gonna walk through the steps and then you're going to try a few. I also have a video of someone who has actually done this that you can watch on the website as well. So first of all, you're going to uh, measure your water in a container. Now it says mark the level on the container. It would be much smarter to use a container that already has measurements on it. Um, a graduated cylinder is great. A measuring cup is great. Something that already has those measurements is more beneficial. Then you put the item into the water, okay, and submerge it, which means it has to be all the way under the water and look at your new measurement. Where is your water now? Now, if you're using a um, cylinder that has measurements on the side, what you would do is you would subtract these two measurements, your new measurement and your old measurement, and that difference would tell you the volume. Or you could remove the prism or the item fill the container to the upper mark and figure out how much millimeters you added. Um, and then that millimeters becomes centimeters cubed. So if she added 15 millimeters, milliliters, sorry, of water, the volume of that prism is 15 centimeters cubed. Um, this does show you that volume and capacity are very closely related. If you find the capacity of the water displaced, you have in fact found the volume of the object. Take a moment and watch the other video that shows volume displacement with a graduated cylinder that does have the measurements on the side because in that, it, that really is more effective. Now you want to try that um, together or with your group. So using your container and the container that I've given you is a graduated cylinder so it does have the measurements on the side. You will need the water and you'll need some kind of an object that you're putting in. Okay, so four small solid objects that can be placed into the water and that will actually fit into the graduated cylinder that you have been provided. First of all, take an estimate. What do you think? How much do you think this will, will be? And then find the volume by following the steps, placing that object into the water, finding the difference of the measurements. Go ahead and try that now. All right, for your concept practice today, you're going to do the Math Makes Sense, uh, page 157, Reflect Prompt, where you're actually going to explain water displacement. I would recommend using pictures, uh, words, examples to explain. Go ahead and do that now. 